Hello everyone, Ken here back with another video where I review your projects, resumes, and portfolios. Today I'm going to do a GitHub portfolio review of Shabam. So thank you Shabam very much for submitting your work. I think that this is a very unique one. Shabam is very, very active on GitHub and he has a couple of different types of projects that I haven't showcased before in this series. So if you'd like to have your portfolio, resume, or projects reviewed, remember to comment below and shoot me an email at keng.ds at gmail.com. Now, without further ado, let's hop into the resume, uh, I'm sorry, the portfolio review. Okay, so as usual, we check out the profile picture. I think this is a perfectly fine picture of Shabam. Another thing that I like to look at is the description here. So I'm a normal homo sapien who loves to learn about genomics, astrophysics, deep learning, and play basketball. So I think everything except maybe this first line here is, is really spot on. I don't think a normal homo sapien would say that they're a normal homo sapien. Maybe that's a joke or something that I'm missing, but an employer unfamiliar with you might think that that's just a little bit strange. You know, if, if that's part of your personality or whatever that might be, that's totally fine. But I think if you want to give you yourself the best chances possible, you might want to just remove that kind of small sentence there. I'd also down here link to your LinkedIn or any other relevant online presence that you have. So if you have a Kaggle profile, great place to put that. If you have a Twitter that's professional, it's a great place to put that, <clears throat> whatever it might be. So now let's actually look through his repos here. So he's got 44 different repos, which is quite a bit. Um, and he's very, very active. He's forked quite a few repositories. And I think that that's really good. It shows that he's engaging quite a bit in the community on GitHub, that he's actively trying to understand other people's code. I think that that's very, very fun. And that's a useful way to show that you'll be engaged at a company. You know, this is something uh, that he's clearly been using a lot over the past year. So one thing that I've talked a little bit about before is that when you do have this many repos, it's really hard to actually tease out what your real projects are that are meaningful to a data science employer. So I'd really try to like either build a personal website, start a blog, something like that and really pick out exactly what projects you want employers to see. Another thing that I saw pretty recently was on the import data channel. Jamin actually made this little header for his own GitHub repo. And perhaps you could put links to your data science projects right here that would link to the, the actual pages down there. So that's another way, rather than creating a whole nother portfolio website, to do that in plain text. I'll, I'll link to the video where Jamin shows how to do this, but to me, I thought that was, that was a really unique and different thing that, that I had not personally seen before in some resumes. So aside from that, I, I think that this is, this is really good, but there are a lot that have been very inactive that were just forked and kind of forgotten about. You might want to go through and, and just clean up a couple of these. For example, uh, a repo called fun that doesn't have anything in it. You might just want to delete it or uh, figure out what's in there. You also probably want to clean up some of the information around what some of these are, either better naming conventions or improving the, you know, the, the about section of each of these individual repos. So those are things that if I, if I go in and I see someone has a lot of projects, but they're really well organized and it's clear what they are from just kind of reading a couple sentences there, that's something that's really, really appealing to me. So I'd love to jump into just a couple projects. I think that hopefully this will give you guys a little different perspective and, and also help Shivam uh, think about what he could do to improve his, his uh, you know, platform, his presence here. So the first one I wanted to look at is this neural net from scratch project. This is something I actually haven't showcased on this, you know, this, I guess the show so far. Um, I think that this is, is a really cool and something I actually like to see that Shavam, after going through this, he clearly understands how neural nets work from a like fundamental level. He built it from scratch. And that means that you understand how to like actually tune these models a lot more efficiently. This is a really, really well done GitHub repo. There's like 
clear visuals, there's a, like a leading question, there's why he actually went about building this. And this is a very different type of project because it's something that's a little bit fundamental, it's something you should do um, that, that isn't quite as showy, but it shows that you're like really deeply trying to understand the math and how these things work. So I recommend that almost everyone go through and actually try to code a bunch of the different data structures or the different algorithms that you use from scratch in data science. If I see that in a portfolio, it's not something I necessarily look for, but if I see that, I know that that person is seeking to understand this field at a fundamental level. And that is an you know absolute, like very powerful thing to show and something that uh, I give people absolute points for. So he talks about backpropagation, he talks about the different activation functions, which are all very, very important. Um, probably, you know, we use ReLU is kind of the state of the art at this point now. And um, again, this is very dense, this is very well done. And I love that he took a picture of his notes. That's a nice like personal touch. It means he's thinking on paper as well. So this is a, a really excellent and well thought out project. I'd love to see him actually like go through and apply this to some data um, and, and talk about that in the readme. He might go through that in the actual code, but I didn't want to go too, too much into depth there. Um, another cool project that I saw, but you know, the readme is pretty sparse was this intruder detection on Raspberry Pi. For, uh, you know, Working with hardware, I think, is something that is very cool and unique. And data science is getting very intertwined with like sensors in this day and age. So, understanding how to collect data from a device that is, you know, satellite that is not close to you, understanding the constraints of a device where you actually have to use the processing power on the device itself. These are the types of questions that data scientists are facing in some realms. So, if you can show that you can work with with other devices, if you can show that you can work with limited processing power in certain environments. That's a very cool skill to have. I would really like him to, again, fill out this, this readme just a little bit more. I think that it, it, it really lacks quite a lot of depth. Um, you know, the last one here, again, we're, we're looking at a, a kind of lack of depth in the readme for sentiment analysis. Um, and just like a recruiter, I'm probably not going to go through all of this code to, to dig through and understand what it means. I think that Shivam's work here is really good. I think that he's very active, but he might just want to make sure he concentrates it more into a presentable realm and also focus it more on data science. What I would recommend for him to do is to go through and do basically four projects that are very clear cut related to data science. The four that I always recommend are something related to regression, something related to classification, something related to clustering, and then finally one with some form of deep neural net um, implementation or image classification or NLP. So I would recommend that he puts those together. He makes them very organized. I would also recommend that he consider using a header like this on his GitHub profile or to actually go through and build out a resume portfolio website. So again, thank you, Shivam, for submitting your work. It was fun to go through it. And I really hope that these tips, these recommendations are valuable to you and anyone else watching. So everyone else, thank you for watching and good luck on your data science journey.